All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to this video. We're going to be going over keyword research for color bright painting, all right? Now, this particular client gave us a little set of keywords. They gave us painter, exterior painting, and interior painting. So we know they want to go after those keywords. Sometimes you have a client that comes to you and they give you no keywords, okay? So what I usually like to do is start with the base keyword and expand from there, and I use tools to do that. I'm gonna show you everything that I do in this video, okay? It's very simple. I like to really do a simple process for keyword research. Some people make it very confusing, uh, and I don't think it needs to be that way. You can make it very simple, get a good keyword list, then you know what you're gonna go after. Then from there, you can start optimizing the website to rank for the keywords that you wanna rank for, okay? So, again, we know color bright painting is in Long Island, all right? And we're actually going to show you uh, an over the shoulder for Long Island, Nassau County, and I believe Suffolk County, which are the three locations we're going to do for them for the price point we're doing, okay? So I'm going to show you, we're going to rank the home page and some inner pages, but the keyword research really goes for all three areas. So whatever keywords I find for Long Island are also going to go for Suffolk and uh, Nassau County, and I'll show you all that in just a second here. Okay, so again, sometimes you have clients come to you and they give you no keywords, but if they're a painting company, we know they wanna go after painter and painting, right? So we can start there. Uh, in this case, they gave us exterior painting, interior painting, so we can also use that data, but a lot of times you will have a client come to you, they don't give you any keywords, but you know they're a painter, so you always start with city name plus painter, and then you do your keyword research from there. Okay, so before I go into that and we start digging deeper into keyword research, what I wanna show you is a keyword tool I use for keyword research. Now, it's called Keywords Everywhere. It's found at keywordseverywhere.com. And this is basically like a, an add-on for browsers and you can install it for Chrome or Firefox. I currently have it on Firefox in this video. And it used to be free, but now it's paid. Now that's the bad news, but the good news is it's so cheap that you're gonna pay $10 and pretty much have this tool for a long time. They do $10 for 100,000 credits, and most of you will probably never run out of 100,000 credits. So pretty much you can sign up for this tool, spend $10, and you're gonna be good for a long time, or maybe even forever, all right? So it's paid, but it's very, very cheap, and it's very worth it to use it. This is what I'm gonna be using in this video because it's very cheap, it's effective, and I really like this tool, okay? So one thing to understand about Google is, and, and this tool actually, this tool pulls its data from Google's data, all right? So it's basically like, you know, they're pulling from Google. What you have to understand about Google is their keyword research or their keyword information are just estimates, okay? So they, they'll say, for example, Long Island Painter gets 140 searches a month and it gets all their data on it. All of that information is just an estimate. And that's important to understand because there's a lot of keywords that they say get zero searches a month. And I know for a fact do not get zero searches a month. It's just that there are low amounts of searches, so they show it as zero, they estimate it as zero. But you know, I found terms that they say get zero searches a month, they get hundreds of searches a month, okay? So you can't by, go by that data, you just use it as an estimate. And the problem with that is when you run into like a small city then you're not going to get any keyword data, so you're not gonna be able to um, do much keyword research, but I have some tricks to get around that, okay? So let me give you an example. I live in a little town called Landenburg, so let's type in Landenburg, Landenburg, PA, okay? So this is my little town that I live in, and there is, let's do population, so there is 400, or I'm sorry, 11,000 people, almost 12,000 people in my little uh, town here. So the problem with that is not many people are searching, right? Opposed to a large city like Los Angeles, New York, Miami, Houston, Chicago, Philadelphia, any large city, they have a whole lot bigger numbers, right? Millions of people or hundreds of thousands of people. So there's a lot more data there, okay? So if I put in Landenburg PA Painter, what you're gonna see is I get not much keyword data, okay? It says it gets zero searches a month. There's people searching for this term, right? So just be aware of that. But that can throw off your keyword research because then you do this and usually keyword suggestions will show up over here for this tool, which I'm about to show you in a second. And there will also be suggestions that show up down here. 
we're not getting any suggestions because there's no keyword data for this city or this town because it's such a small area all right so here's a big trick I do and even like cities that are like you know medium to small size sometimes don't get as much data right so let's take Long Island let's do you know we're doing Long Island let's do that all right so Long Island now you're gonna start seeing some, some stuff over here, okay? You're gonna start getting some related keywords, what people also search for. You're gonna get some other searches down here, but it's still not as much data as I want, right? Because Long Island, I'm guessing, is smaller than Los Angeles or New York City or whatever the case is. Uh, let's actually go look at Long Island population. Or it just doesn't get as much. So it has a large population, but I'm guessing it doesn't get as many searches because people usually search in specific areas like you know uh, they, they'll probably search more like Manhattan or New York City or like specific areas of Long Island okay but they don't have as much data and this is why I like to look in the really big well-known cities all right so but here's some ideas we get you know we know exterior interior and painter but look here's another keyword painting contractors so now I'm starting to pick up some keywords right so let's actually start a list here And so we know uh, we want to go after painter, painters, um, exterior painting, exterior painters, interior painting, and interior painters. All right, we know all of these. All right. So from there, again, we didn't know anything. But now we just found from the Long Island keyword research that people also search for painting contractors. All right, so let me bring that back up. And now we can do painting contractors as well. All right. So let's see, what else do we got here? We got um, painting contractor, painter, Frank. So just company names. And let's go down here and see if we have any other stuff. Painting contractors. Uh, so nothing much more than that. So we only found one more keyword by looking at Long Island. So now let's go look at a really big city like Los Angeles. And you're going to notice that we have a whole lot more keyword data when this comes up. Why? Because it's a really, really big, highly searched area and there's going to be a lot more data there. All right. So now look what we got. Related keywords. We got painting company. All right. So we want to add that. So painting company. Then of course the plural. I always like to add the plural too. So like painting companies. Okay. So we got that keyword. Let's see, what else do we got? Um, famous house painting. All right, so let's add that. We got house painting, and then we can do house painters, and we could also do house painter, All right? Let's see what else we got, cheap painters. So let's add cheap painters or cheap painter. All right, so see how we're getting a whole lot more keyword ideas just by looking at the data of what people search. Now, remember, if we were looking in Long Island, we wouldn't have picked up these additional keywords because there's not as much, much keyword data there. Usually when I'm like trying to expand on keyword data, I use Los Angeles or I'll use like New York City. All right, so we got painting services. That's another one. Painting services, okay? So let's see, that now we can look in this list, see if we see anything else. House painter, do we already do a house painter? Residential interior, so how about that? We did house painter, so now we got residential painter. And of course, residential painting. And we could do residential painters, but it's so closely related, we don't need to put that in. So we'll just leave it there for now. Uh, let's see, painter jobs, no, commercial painting. I don't know if they do commercial painting, um, I would have to ask, you know, uh, the rest of the crew if they do commercial painting or not, but we'll add it just in case. Okay, I'm guessing we're not going to go after that, but we'll see. All right, and that's, I mean, that's a good list there. That, that's a lot more keywords than we started with. You know, what we started with was painter, painting, or I'm sorry, like painter and painters, uh, exterior painting and interior painting, that's it. Now look what we got from doing our keyword research. We got we got uh, painting contractors, painting company, painting companies, house painting, house painters, uh, cheap painters, cheap painting. I could do cheap painting, and you could also start adding stuff together. So I could do like cheap painting company stuff like that, right? We got painting services, residential painter, 
commercial painting, commercial painters. So we have a whole lot more large keyword list here. And this is really helpful like when you go into a niche you know nothing about. I don't know much about painting, so I wouldn't have thought about many of these keywords. Now I have my keyword list, and that was very easy to do, right? And we got that keyword data by using a little trick of using an area that has more keyword data. Because again, if we go to a smaller city or town, and you know we have a Landenberg client, we don't get any data, right? Because remember, this tool pulls their data from Google, and with only 11,000 people in this area, it's saying no one searches for this term. Well, obviously there is searches, but it's, it's so low that their estimates are that there's nothing at all. But I guarantee you there's terms in here that get 10, 20, 30, 40 searches a month. They just don't show it because it's just low, all right? So just be aware of that. But then when you add in a larger area, so let's go do like now Chicago, we'll get a whole lot more data because that's a large area that gets a lot of searches and has a lot more data. But you, then you can use those same keywords for your area, okay? Because even though it says there's no searches, there is searches being done. All right, look, and we got some more ideas here. So you can always look in different big cities. You got porch painting. We're not going to do that. We're not going to add this because I'm not going to go this deep into it. Um, you got interior painter. You got painting contractors again, kitchen and cabinet painting. All right, best house painters. So we can start adding best in there, like best painter, best painting company, things like that. All right, uh, so let's go. So we do like best, you know, anything with best. I'm gonna put this down here so we can add like best with all this stuff. Um, let's see, what else do we got? Again, company, a lot of company names. Interior home painting, because that's another one. So interior home painting, interior home painters, okay. That also brings me to, you know, home painter, home painting. And painters so there's some more keywords so again looking at different cities can also different big cities can be another idea to get more keyword research okay uh, iron fence that's probably a company best house painters um, all right, but you know a lot of the same stuff we got some uh, also additional stuff you know we could do cabinet painting so that's something we can add on later on but look this is a client that's you know kind of an entrance client they're only paying us you know five hundred to a thousand dollars a month so they're on that low end now, if they upgrade and they go with a higher plan, then we start adding in more keywords. Then we're like, look, I think we need to add in kitchen painting. I think we need to add in cabinet painting. Then you can start adding in sections or different pages for those particular areas, expand their keyword list, and get them more traffic. Okay. But again, this is an, an entrance level client, so we're not going to go that deep. We're not even going to use this full keyword list probably. We're not going to go after all this stuff. But I just want this here so I can naturally expand my keyword list and kind of naturally work this into my on-page SEO so we can rank for more keywords, all right? So I'm not going to use this whole list, but I just want to know it's there and I'll probably save this. Uh, and if they upgrade, I'll go deeper into that list and rank for more stuff, all right? But again, this is very useful. Like, you know, even like locksmith, you know, like I, I had a locksmith client once and I did this and there are so many keywords I had no idea about. You know, one of the big ones was like 24 hour locksmith. And that's a big keyword because a lot of the times people are locked out of their car late at night and they try to call locksmiths and you know, there's locksmiths that don't work around the clock and they're trying to call them at midnight or find one that's open 24 hours because they're locked outside of their car and you know, in the middle of the night and they need a 24 hour locksmith like right away. Like they need him now. So. When you do this, and again, watch, I'll show you, Locksmith, uh, Los Angeles. Again, I, I usually use Los Angeles as my starting point, and I'll use like Chicago or Philadelphia or stuff like that. So look, 24-hour locksmith. I didn't know that was such a big term, right? And that, that's one of the bigger terms. Uh, then you got stuff like, you know, locksmith for cars. You got, so we didn't get much as much data here, all right? And also, one of the things you can go to go deeper into your to your keyword research is so start typing these some of these keywords in there, and then see if you get any expansions. Right. So, for example, let's do Los Angeles exterior painter. And let's see if we get any more keyword ideas based off of that. And again, I'm not going to go any further into keyword research. I'm just showing you how to do it if you need to. All right. So we got house painter, house painting. Uh, painting company, so we have all this already. House painter, commercial painting, contractor. So that's a little more long tail. We don't have that one. We do have commercial painter. 
uh, cheap painter, which we saw before, exterior specialist. All right, so specialist is another word we could work in. Um, let's see, painting company, house painting. Let's see, so that's pretty much it. You know, there's nothing more for that. But that's also another idea if you want to dig deeper is you can start typing some of these keywords into you know Google with, with keywords everywhere installed, and then you'll get more keyword data. All right. So that's how I do my keyword research. Now I'm going to show you how to easily add this to uh, to your keyword tool. Now, or I'm sorry, your rank tracker. Now there's stuff called a, there, there's something called a rank tracker that shows you know where your keywords are ranking, like where are they rank in Google, and it'll automatically show you where things rank. So you don't have to like do a manually search. As you can see, I already set this up, but the site that I use to track is called Microsite Masters. Um, you don't have to use this tool. There's plenty of rank trackers out there. And again, what this does it just shows you where your keywords are ranking in Google. All right, and it just updates every day and it just has all that data in one place. And a lot of you, you can spend 10, 20 bucks a month and you can get you know that. I, of course, have so many keywords that I track on so many websites that I'm paying like $600 a month because I'm tracking like 30,000 keywords. Many of you are going to be starting, you know, even below this probably, where you're paying like there's cool. If you know, if this is their lowest plan, you might want to use a different tool because there's tools out there that you can spend five bucks a month and track a hundred keywords. And for many of you starting out, that's going to be plenty. Okay, so just be aware that you don't have to use this exact tool. Just understand what it does. It shows you where keywords are ranking in Google. All right, now I'm now going to show you what I use to make a keyword list very easy because a lot of times what people will do they don't know how to do this is you know so we're going after let's get rid of best for now we're not going to play with that at, at this current time actually i'll put it up here just to remind myself all right so put best here so remember we're going after long island we're going after nassau county and then we're also going after suffolk county i believe hopefully that's how you spell it I think I already have them in here, so let me check. NASA, where's Suffolk? S U F F O L K. Yeah, so I got that right. All right, so here's our keyword list, right? right. I'm not even going after all these, but I'm going to track them anyways. And then here's our city names. So a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll be like, ugh, Long Island Painter. Long Island Painters. And I'm just kind of going down this list here. Like I'm adding this word with each of these words, right? Then they do, you know, Long Island exterior painting. And then they do long, and they keep going down that list. Then they got to do all that for Nassau County and all that for Suffolk County. It can take a long time to enter in all those keywords, right? There's a, there's a way to overcome that. So what I do is I go to Google and I type in merge words. And it doesn't matter which tool you use. I usually just use this one, whatever one's up front. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to copy this list, okay, and we're going to paste this right here, and then we're going to copy our locations, and we're gonna put this right here, and then we're gonna merge them, and then bam, here's our keyword list, okay? And then of course what I do is I, I already did this, but I'm gonna paste it in here, and then bam, there's all of our keywords. Track keywords, and it adds it to the list. All right, now what you can also do is you can copy this list and you can put it on this side, All right? And then you can copy these, put it over here and merge them. And then bam, you have the opposite version of them. All right, and I'll throw these in as well and track keywords. And then bam, all these are added to our keyword tracking. Basically what this does is each day, this service, Microsite Masters, which is the rank tracker I use, it goes in, it checks where things are ranking, and it gives you a report, okay? And you can go in, you can see where each keyword is. You know, a lot of these won't be ranking at all because we just put up the pages for Suffolk County and Nassau County, so none of those are gonna be ranking. Long Island, I think we have a couple rankings, and they're actually moving up because some of the on-page we already did, but not very good rankings yet, and they will move up as we improve our on-page and we start going through the rest of the search engine optimization process, all right? So 
That is how you do keyword research the very easy way. This is how you compile a keyword list very quickly. And then of course you just throw that list into your rank tracking software or service, whatever it is you use, and then everything is set to go, all right? And again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use all this keyword data to do our on-page optimization, which is very important because we, we, we wanna let Google know what our site is about. And if we have a keyword list, for ourselves, then we know that we can put our most important keywords in the most important places. And when you do that, you're able to rank much easier and much quicker and with much less resources, all right? So this was the keyword research video. We have all of our data now. We know all of our most important keywords. And really what I'm probably gonna do is, not I can actually do that right now, is we're going to organize this into like the most important keywords. That way I know what to put in the most important places when we start doing our on-page optimization, which is the next video, okay? So obviously I wanna go after painter and painters. I'm gonna go after exterior and interior painting because I know they already told me those are important for them. And then I'll probably go after, you know, like contractors, you know, painting contractors, painting company, um, uh, maybe residential I'll mix in. Commercial I won't because I don't know if they do that yet, but we can always add that in later. And then maybe home and house I'll mention in some places. But you'll see how I do it when we get to the on page where I'm gonna work, you know, these are my really important ones right here. So these are what I'm gonna work in the most. And then this this other stuff, it was like little littler searches, so they're not as important. It's more niche, like kind of niche down. So these won't be as important to hit, but I may be able to work them in too. All right, but my main focus is gonna be on the bigger keywords that we saw, you know, getting the most searches and I'll show you, I'll actually make sure that you guys saw that. So let's go up, let's go to Los Angeles Painter. And you can see in this data over here, like it shows how many searches they estimate each term gets, right? So for example, uh, Cheap Painters Los Angeles, they say gets 40 searches a month. I guarantee it's higher than that. Um, and then any other searches it shows, it shows the amount of searches, right? So like commercial painting, or I'm sorry, where was it? Commercial painters Los Angeles, they say get 70 searches a month, okay? Commercial painting contractors Los Angeles, they say get 70. House painting in Los Angeles, they say gets 170. So that's a, that's a little bigger than commercial as far as search volume. Now commercial may be bigger jobs, so you gotta consider that as well. And then if you look up here, Los Angeles painter actually gets 1,000 searches a month. Okay, as you can see up here, uh, you can see the volume 1,000 per month. And if we scroll down, it's not showing the data here. So let's do like Los Angeles painting contractor. And we see that gets 210 a month, okay? Uh, and then let's see if we got any other ones, just as examples. You get the point, like a lot of the keywords we're seeing are like company, contractors, and all that type of stuff. So we know those are important keywords to add in with our main keywords, painter and painting. So we're gonna add those in, those are gonna be higher on our list of importance, okay? But that's what, that's what all this information means. So this is basically the amount of searches a keyword gets per month, the estimated. This is the average cost per click that someone is paying for each time they click with paid advertising. What that means is, now this doesn't have any ads, I don't think, but sometimes you'll see like ads right here. Anyone that had an ad, if, if someone clicked on that ad, they'd be paying about $8 per click. All right, so that, that's very high. So let me actually go show you that. Let's go do a, let's do like best kitchen faucets, whatever, All right? So you're gonna see ads for a term like this, probably. No, no ads for that, I'm surprising. trying to show you some ads here. All right, lawyers will have ads. Let's go do like Los Angeles lawyer. I don't know why I'm not getting ads. It might be because of the browser I'm using. But a lot of times you'll see stuff that says ads here. Let's go to a different browser. Maybe that's part of the problem. Maybe because I have that tool installed or something, it's blocking the ads, I don't know what's going on there, but let's do like uh, Los Angeles uh, DUI lawyer. 
There we go, there's the ads, okay? So these are the ads I'm talking about. So the numbers that are right here, the cost, this is called CPC, which is cost per click. Now you see right here, this says ad next to it. These have not, these did not get there through search engine optimization. This got there through people paying per click, okay? So they're advertising. So if I click on this right there, it's gonna cost them money, just for me clicking on it. Not for a phone call, not for anything like that, not for a lead or filling out. Just for clicking on this listing, they gotta pay a certain amount of money. Let's actually see the average of what they would have to pay if I clicked on that. So let's go to copy this term, let's put it into our, our browser that has our keyword tool installed. So the average cost per click is $82 for that term, $82. So that means if I come here and I click on this right here, it costs them about $82. Now you can see why search engine optimization is so important because that's just for one click. That's not for a phone call, that's not for a lead, nothing like that, that's just for me clicking on this ad. But remember, these are just estimates, it doesn't mean that's what they're paying, it's just this tool is estimating they're paying about $82 per click. All right, so that's what that information means. And these are all ads, ad, 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 ad. All these people are paying per click. They're not where we are with search engine optimization getting free clicks, they're paying per click. And then once you get down here, these are the free results because they don't have an ad next to them, okay? Again, I don't know why they're not showing up in this browser, um, but probably has something to do with the plugins I have installed. But usually most people will see those ads and that's what this information means. Comp means competition. I don't pay attention to that because I, you know, it's just, that, that's kind of inaccurate as far as this tool goes. The main thing I use it for is the volume and just kind of getting keyword ideas like all this here or list out other keywords that I can add to my keyword list, all right? So that is how you do keyword research. Very simple, you take you know the main, you use the city you're in of course, then the main niche, so if it's a locksmith and you do city locksmith, right? But you usually want to use a large city like Los Angeles, Chicago, New York City, to do your initial keyword research because you're going to get more keyword data, okay? Then you use those same keywords for your smaller location because it's all the same. It, just because it's a different location, all they're changing up is the location name. They're still doing the same searches, just in a different location, all right? Then we take that keyword list and we put it into our, where was it? Our merge words tool, whatever is one you want to use. You make it very quickly. You, know, you copy your locations, copy your keywords, you merge them together, there's your keyword list. Then you can throw it in your rank tracking tool, okay? As you can see right here, we have a couple rankings right here already. Um, and a lot of these weren't here before when we first started this website. These changes right here, you can see this moved up 28 spots already. This is just from changing a little bit in the title, which I believe Joe did already. So. This website was on like page eight. I don't think it was anywhere to be found when we first started. Now it's on page five at number 45 for Long Island Painting Company. Just from making a couple changes in our title and that's it. But we're gonna make more changes now and we're gonna get some better results out of this, all right? Just from changing a little bit of stuff on their website. So that's gonna be next video on page. We're gonna go over all the optimization. I'm gonna give you all this as a real example. And we're gonna start optimizing this, optimizing this website now that we have our keyword list.